Look who's here. Look who's here. Alex is here to talk about this affair. <laughs> oh, but it's Judge Alex, of course, from the TV show <laughs> Judge Alex, former attorney and judge. Alex Ferrer. Thank Hi, you very Alex. much, Judge, right, being here thanks, also. Thanks, <laughs> All right, Judge Alex, here's the thing, though. Cynthia Rodriguez files for divorce down in Florida, and, you know, initially we were hearing, well, that Florida makes it kind of easy for people to sort of you know, overturn those prenup Not agreements. So. Nope. No, no, no. Um, there's always going to be differences in the way view, uh, prenups are viewed across the country. Some states, you know, are very strict with them. Some states are, are not as strict. But Florida is by no means a walk in the park. You can't just pierce a, a prenup in Florida because you want to. You have to show things like fraud, um, coercion, duress. You have to show, usually the reason it's overturned the most often is uh, the failure to give full financial disclosure when you enter into a prenup. The, Fraud. The, uh, I'm, I married you and you can misrepresented. stay with you and now I'm cheating on you with strippers at No, all. not that kind of fraud. Misrep oh, really? Misrepresentation about your assets. That, that is the most common reason. People, it, Florida doesn't care and most courts don't care what agreement you enter into. You can contract for anything. But what they do care about is that you entered into it knowingly with your eyes open. So if he disclosed all his financial worth, it's probably going to be uh, pretty hard to break it's through that. It's really hard. This prenup uh, happened in, I think, October 2002 before they got married. But adultery does not trump a prenup. Florida's not a, Florida's not a false base state. In New York, that is an issue. But uh, in Florida, they don't really care why you're getting divorced. As long as the marriage is irretrievably broken, it's irretrievably broken. The, the only time that, that uh, uh, infidelity comes into the picture, mm -hmm. the mo most common time really is, if, for example, he's flying his girlfriend all over the country to be with him, that money that he is spending on his girlfriend is money that belongs to the two of them. So strip clubs on the aren't money that he's paying at strip clubs? Perhaps. Sure. That's. I mean, that that's. Doesn't... Those are marital assets that he is wasting away, and she's entitled to 50 percent of them. If, if she's able to show. Oh for, man. Uh, but what uh, what now, 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 now let, let me just goes there to relax. Let, let me go into a spa. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me put it in perspective. We're saying all this without knowing what the prenup says. Yeah. The prenup is going to control. The prenup could say that she's not entitled to anything that it was acquired during the marriage. We, we have no idea what it says. Let's say she hits a home run it, and the prenup is uh, overturned. Does that mean that she has a a access to half of the That's 140 million? <laughs> yeah. Cha ching. It, it, means, it means that at that point, she is entitled to 50% of the marital assets. Wow. Anything that was acquired during the marriage. And when she met him, he was with the uh, Seattle Mariners, I believe. And his, sure. his net worth, which is repu reported to be around 450 million, I don't know how true that is, but she, the majority of that growth came during the marriage. So if, if that uh, prenup is broken, um, there's going to be a lot of champagne Emily, popping. Real quick, is there